Hey baby beavers, it is Monday and I'm here for the day because Jackie is not. I missed you. I missed you and all of your cute little faces, to be honest. So I'm really happy that Haley asked me to come today because I miss I missed your cute little faces. Uh, end of story. My hair right now, I'm not I'm not sure what it's doing. I'm not sure what this is about. It's kind of flat. I I actually it is 3 p.m. here and I just got out of bed. I was busy. I was busy being sad, but um, oh, you can see my logo. I don't want to get sued. Um, anyways, about that, yeah, I have to go to work at four, and so I had to get out of bed and get a life. So uh, I'm done being sad now. You don't have to worry about it. Have you ever dealt with depression or felt ashamed to be gay? If so, how did you deal with it, and what advice would you give? All right, so that's topic number. We have another one that's uh, less depressing. Um, it's depressing, it's ironic because the depressing is in the, no, all right, just, just me. Um, <clears throat> yes, I have felt depressed or ashamed about being gay. I don't know if any of you guys, well, some, some of you know this, I'm sure, bra. Some of you know this, I'm sure, others, I'm sure you don't, uh, but I was super Mormon, and I mean, like, I don't mean the kind of Mormons that say that they're Mormon, but don't do anything Mormon. I don't even mean the kind of Mormons that say they're Mormon, uh, but still drink coffee and tea. I mean, like, the kind of Mormon that went to church, like, every every Sunday, went to youth group every Tuesday, went to seminary every morning before school. And I did these things when the rest of my family did not even. Like, I kept at it um, for quite a while. So I was really Mormon. So um, when freshman year rolled around and I realized, oh crap, I like girls, I definitely thought I could just pray that one into the ground. Did not work. Don't try to do that if that's what you think is going to fix the problem because it won't. You can pray as much as you want who you're attracted to. I mean, if it's, if it's going to change, it will change. And if it's not... Praying won't make it. Just throwing that out there, it won't. So there was like a two-year period, something of that sort, where I was I was freaking out because I knew I like girls and that's like evil or whatever. Um, I just I just was freaking out for like ever. Actually, it was probably longer than two years um, because I knew I was gay for a really long time and. I, there was a two-year period when I thought I was never going to tell anyone, I guess. There was a two-year period when I thought I was going to live my whole life in the closet um, and that everything was just going to be fine. Um, and then when I got to be, like, a junior, that was when I started being like, no, I don't want to do that. I want to actually just date girls, um, move in my thing. Uh, but I didn't actually come out until my senior year of high school, so it was a total of like three years. And I didn't come out because, you know, I was afraid of what people would think, which I put that in ashamed. Um, because as it turns out, there was no reason to be afraid of what people would think. Um, it was just that I was scared. Um, so there's, there's that answer. If you're ashamed of being gay, I don't think you should be. That's that's my advice. Don't be because it's not it's not scary. It's not something that's terrible. It's not something that's even weird or normal. You know, like it's it's been around for as long as we can document. I mean, even if the Bible is true and not mistranslated, which it is, um, gays have still been around like longer than than the Bible is old. And so it's like this age-old thing. And now people are finally starting to be less stupid about it. Like, if there's ever been a time when... There, I don't know if there's ever been a time when gays were more accepted. Except maybe, like, men with little boys in Greece. Uh, because that was pretty common and accepted. Um, so don't be. Don't be scared or ashamed. Because it is... It is no big thing. It is no big deal. What are we doing for the summer? Um, I'm back in my hometown right now. I keep moving this. Back in my hometown right now. 
I don't really have any plans for the summer between working my little hiney off and making money to, you know, like, live on my own and stuff and hanging out with my friendy poo poos. I had a couple weekend plans. One which I already did. I was going to Florida to visit someone. Um, the other, I'm going to VidCon. So, uh... I should probably finish planning that out. But yeah, so if you're if you're going to VidCon, I will see you there. Um got it all all under control. So those are really my only summer plans. We're Florida VidCon work until I die and have enough money to live and stuff like that. All right. So um I'll see you guys when I when I see you. Um I don't know when that'll be next, but it was a pleasure talking to you today. Um, okay, bye.